how they will perform under the conditions that this tournament has placed them in. We are starting with the top eight bracket, and it's uh, interesting to see how Yu is going to perform with his weird selection of characters. He has Mega Man, Cloud, and Snake too, in some cases. So uh, I'm, I'm curious as to how he's going to perform right now. Yeah, um, I'm looking at questions from the chat right now at this moment. Hold on, I also want to make sure. Oh, sure. Um, somebody asked when we go back offline. There is no quote-unquote like hard date, so to speak. Um, I can say that it is the summer, most likely. Um, I think this month they've been reversing and unreversing the mask mandate this whole month for some reason, so I really don't know about that. Um, but I would say it's supposed to be... It, we have... We have an idea for the summer. That's about it. That, that's all I can share. There's nothing concrete yet, per se, because I know that that's like after Infinity Con, which happened this past weekend, um, everybody has been asking, like, oh, when are other tournaments going to go back offline? Like, look at Infinity Con, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. It, it's, yeah, it is a matter of, like, staying safe, but also keeping our tournament safe. So I can just definitely tell people it'll most likely be during the summer. See, the thing is that um, you guys, well, let me speak in a real quick fashion. You guys have it so much better in the States with all the vaccinations rolling around and uh, things have, are looking pretty for you guys. So here in Mexico, uh, unfortunately, it's not looking as as positive. We still have a long way to go before uh, offline events come around, but we are exerting as much attention to everything and trying to keep everyone safe. And we have a match here. We Fit versus Mega Man, the mains of these opponents and going to Battlefield. Interesting selection. I'm sure that uh, We Fit Trainer does very well in these triplat scenarios where he can basically extend or play around with this projectile, that soccer ball as some call it. Here in Mexico, it has a different name though. We finally, we finally learned, like for me at least, um, I finally learned, for an example, that um, the, it is a soccer ball. For the longest time, I thought it was a volleyball, and I know it's called header, um, which is yeah. weird because I haven't played soccer since I was like in middle school. But that's just me. Uh, what's more important about the matchup here is that Mega Man, alongside Weaver Trainer, has a plethora of projectiles. So, like. If we for trainer really tries to space a lot, Mega Man can fight back with his own projectiles. The only one that changes that, which is funny enough, is the header and the same way that Mega Man's projectile is also Metal Blade. It can both, both projectiles can be angled against one another. Like, as you can see, like the only projectile Mega Man will have a difficult time is, is specifically header, but everything else, Mega Man should be fine. Like that forward air is really gonna get him off the stage. And then he's got the bomb on here, which forces uh, Javier pretty much to go for the directional air dodge to also avoid the crash bomb as well. Yeah, but perfect avoidance of that pressure and still you keeping up all of that aggression still in place, but making it ever so slightly harder for you or for Javier to keep center stage. And definitely something that Mega Man is going to require is to keep aggression at all times, especially because how good he can be at taking stocks just like that, taking advantage of the close quarter close quarter uh, damage that Mega Man can put out. Yes, his projectiles are good, but let me tell you, the those close quarter attacks are even deadlier. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that we kind of all saw from Javier pretty much. Like he went for that really close at the ledge, like up B, <laughs> and I've never seen that from Refit. But I do know that there's like a ridiculous knockback on that if you do get the first hit initially, which is crazy if you happen to get it off here. Um, honestly, for you, the game playing pretty much remains the same. Like win the mid range to deny your opponent the close range. And if that far range, it's okay because you are mid range. Oh, that's, this is really scary because literally yeah. he would have gotten Rashido all the way to the blast zone. Yeah, I'm really liking how uh, you um, with his Mega Man is being very patient and very resourceful at using his projectiles overall. He's not overextending and he's keeping all of Javier's uh, projectiles at bay and he's going for a lot of those downers. He really wants that spike and it's unfortunately for him, it's not happening, at least not yet. I'm pretty sure that you is going to keep fishing for it and he will most likely get it eventually if he keeps trying. But right now it's not looking like it's connected have you doing a phenomenal job at avoiding those kinds of lethal punishes 
Right, and even even though he doesn't connect it off the stage, even if he's able to just get it on the stage, the amount of knockback that you'll get by, yeah. by getting hit by hard knuckle is so significant that it'll literally cause you to just have, even if, if you're not holding the proper DI at the moment's notice, you will literally lose your stock because you're you're that close to the stage bounce. Uh, but for you, like I said, right, keeping the mid range, it's pretty strong. Even though Mega Man doesn't have the best close quarters tools, things like back air and forward air are strong enough that when Javier is pretty much close to him, like he'll get hit by that. But that's a solid trade coming up for both players. And uh, you is hopefully looking to take the first stock as both of these players are playing uh, toe and toe, neck and neck, I would say. And not only not only strong, they're also very fast. Just like that, getting that back here perfectly in place. And you cannot forget about that up tilt. Mega Man's show you can. It's really good at taking stocks if you're not prepared for it. But these pellets are definitely going to be very helpful in taking away the pressure that that header, the soccer ball, can put out. And yeah. he's using them really, really well overall, keeping all kinds of projectile-based uh, pressure from Javier off, basically. At all times yeah projectiles obviously they force pressure situations so for Mega Man's because they're so fast and so quick and for those of you who don't notice the closer you are to it the the more knockback you'll take it's really strong but honestly if it forces Javier to look at that pressure and be like do I want to jump and which coincidentally Mega Man can follow because he can jump and shoot very much like he can so in his own game so that's the one thing that like I feel that like you is doing a lot to his benefit is making sure that when he has to play close range instead of mid-range, there's a lot of pressure going on, especially with how well he knows the character. And honestly, this is the f the first time, we, it's very, very rare for MSM to just get Mega Man's in top eights. It, it's funny enough that the character we base the tournament off, we rarely ever see perform that strong. And in an online setting, you would honestly think Mega Man is that strong. Well, he's really good in, in the right hands. I guess this is true for every other character, but specifically in this match, they've been toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head to head basically at all times, percentages remaining very even all throughout the match. And this it's basically just whoever makes the first mistake is going to take the punishment. And it's working for both of them. Really, they're playing to the best of their abilities with this character in specific matchup. So it's really interesting to see as to how it's going to develop throughout the set, considering how even they actually seem at least in this first match that we have so far. Yeah, honestly, it's the one thing for for Javier specifically is the ability to recognize like, okay, my opponent is off stage, right? Um, what's the better option? And honestly, the way that We Fit Trainer has ridiculous like hitboxes on both sides of the character and <laughs> just being able to go off the stage and punish Mega Man, it's kind of like, cool, the worst thing I'll get hit is pellet from far range, which is most likely, and he called that out. That was really good for Javier to pretty much take the risk reward factor at a moment's notice and then immediately get rid of that stock and then proceed to win game one. Uh, for you, it was still good. I think if he didn't go, if he went for, I think if he went for Metal Blade, he would have been fine just because of the way Metal Blade interacts with characters. But yeah. Crash Bomb was a pretty solid choice because, you know, he wanted him to hold shield, give him time to come back. You got to respect these decisions here, but we'll see, man. All those decisions have to be really, really fast. And when it comes to a best of... Actually, no, we're best of five right now, so never mind. They have time. They have time. You have to stay yeah. composed. Exactly, and and, and it's in this case, um, with a trainer, does sport a bit of more of range. His limbs are way, way larger than Mega Man's for sure, and his l l the reach is a little greater, and this is something that he could take a lot of advantage, and it actually worked in the previous game. It's kind of what decided the, the fate there in that trade, that interaction that they found themselves in, which allowed him to take the game, game one. But again, Yu has been doing a phenomenal job using all of his projectiles to pretty much wall Javier at all times with his own projectile. It's interesting to see how they actually implement every single trade, every single skill set from their from their character. So it's it's nice to see the level of changes and adaptations that they're going to be implementing, and they are at the moment because the percentages are looking very, very even. Yeah, the funny thing about like Mega Man is you have to also view his project, like you said it really well, you have to view his projectiles kind of like a wall. And the funny thing about that is that he's able to bring that wall close to his opponents to even cause more situations. I think for you, 
the situation that he has to always look at, which he's losing to a lot from Javier, is just that closing stock. There, you can put out a lot of pellets, all the projectiles in the world, but the one thing that Javier is able to do better than you in this case so far is just close up the stock, knowing like, oh, okay, my opponent's at high percent, he's off the stage, just finish it. No more projectiles, right? Like, And especially with all the buffs that you can get with the character. Uh, for you here, it's more so like, all right, what combos do I need to do to bring things back? The one thing that I feel like you kind of said it earlier maybe like last week but there's a lot of skill gaps with characters that make it so hard for them to be really really good at because the character does have one of those like high skill ceilings to be able to play specifically Mega Man especially online too which a lot of characters are definitely showing up their true colors but right now Javier doing a phenomenal job he's basically a full stock ahead and if things don't change you know how beautiful up there good catch to the skies basically well done from you forcing that in situation and taking the stocks finally however Javier still has a very sizable lead he just needs one confirm he almost gets it in that up there but that pressure the shield pressure is not not going to allow him to keep pushing forward. That's very thoughtful of you taking advantage of these high percentage. He might be able to take the stock. Yeah, honestly, for for you there, getting that crash bomber on that shield. It, I was gonna say, if that was a shield break, the second time that happened, any of those shield breaks, even though percents are very very deficit, you would. That's a pretty much an opportunity for you to actually get that comeback. If there's a back air rough trade though. Man, how, I, yeah, tough man. That's trading. That's trading in like the Ratata for like the Charizard. You didn't. You wanted to make sure you had Charizard, but instead you got the really crummy Ratata that everybody else has. Yeah, and the it Zubat is an even suckier Raticate, basically. It's, yeah, it's, you never win. <laughs> the Zubat that you find it in like every cave. Yeah, basically. But no, they, they need to keep uh, that this same mindset. Even though the trade was indeed very unfortunate for you, he still managed to get a lot of mileage from that stock, even with that such with such high percentage. So if he keeps this momentum, this shift that he basically had on the previous stock, he might be able to bring it back. And it's looking really good for him because even though he he said 40% getting the sour spot of that up till he could have gotten that stuck just like that but no getting a bad spot on it and still fishing those downers i i wish to see one of those but they don't see uh like they're happening anytime soon yeah the way that you is trying to set up right now at this specific pressure is just okay gets that back arrow but it is trying to force javier to pretty much go for like a jump or play into his game which is what you has been trying to do this whole match so far and it's slowly starting to work it's taking its time right given the fact that like now the stocks are even but it goes to show like once he has that game plan in mind especially at that ledge and it's executed there's only 30 percent separating the two and one interaction one combo from Mega Man can literally mean life or death situation or in this case game game three or game two in hands Definitely, and, and just the knowledge of, of you, of his character, I don't know if you guys saw that, uh, I appreciated it. The way he took advantage of that angel platform at the beginning, how he managed to set up both the crash bomb, the wow, the back hitbox of that forward smash, taking you out of commission once again, Javier, with another wing, it, stopping me from my analysis earlier. It's just like that. It shifts in a moment, and you have to appreciate it. And, and learn to accept these sh changes in momentum you never expected but then then again you suddenly lose your stock with bad di or maybe being unprepared for something and then you pay the price very dearly i'm still at lost words it's actually funny because <laughs> had you rolled a little bit closer to we fit that hitbox may have not hit but the fact that he like the distance of the roll was pretty much the one thing that set everything else in stone and that's where it hurts the most. I, that's, I think that's what makes Weefer Trainer one of the like trickiest characters to fight against. It's just those double hitboxes yes. you have to account for all the time. And the worst part about it too is like even even me brawler kind of has that with like three specific moves or two specific moves in in this in that case. So it's something you have to really account for. Um, honestly, the, the roll would have been called out. Would have been a good just tool. Just like okay, cool. Let me just roll behind my opponent and read the forward smash. But nope. Weefer Trainer is one. Yeah, one of those characters just won't let that happen. Um, and it sucks too, because you finally got to build up that percent, that damage, those combos he was been looking for, and that trap game, and then, you know, to lose the stock that way. It was, like I said, it was literally one interaction away from whoever takes it with the way things that you played. Um, 
This is very much... Have, let me ask you something, man. And I know this is going to be weird for a lot of people because we live in a different... We're play, I'm talking about a different game here. Have you ever played Warzone? Uh, yes, a couple okay. times. You ever notice how if you take all the time in the world to try to shoot at your opponent with a sniper or an AR, you know, they get a chance to run away and probably come back and fight you? Yeah. That's the same situation that I'm seeing here with Mega okay. Man and Wii like Fit Trainer. I like, I like that analogy. He, I, do, I do like it a lot. He is He's on top of the building. He's out there shooting him with the AR. He's out there <laughs> trying to hit him with the car. He, literally, he's, he's sniping. But the point is, like, his opponent will walk away, go into one of the buildings, He'll come back, and when it comes down to the one v one, he's gonna have that. like, yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna hit him with the SMG, the shotgun combo. And you're like, really, you're running that? But that's the thing here, is like you have to look at Wii Fit's damage as a shotgun. It, it comes in a one subtle yes. burst, like how we saw in that smash attack. Speaking of subtle bursts, though, finally, he finally gets it. He finally gets it. He was fishing so hard for it all throughout the set, and he finally does. However, I do have to agree with you entirely because you mentioned this earlier. The way that uh, you is playing the whole, well, the set throughout, he's being very methodical, very accurate when it comes to his projectile use. However, it is Javier who is taking the most advantage and taking the hits that count when they most do and taking stocks like that, even though percentages might not be a lot on his favor, even though Javier is not using his deep, bre deep breath uh, to his fullest extent, he still uses it and when he does, it's very effective and that's why he right now is one game away from taking the set i know even i have i've been watching smash ultimate for the past three to four years of my life but i've never seen a character outrun Mega Man's metal blade like that <laughs> just to yeah. point that out I, oh that is another oh, to the sky yeah he's gone bro he's he's gone. Yeah. The skies. <laughs> that's that my favorite going. thing that, that's the best thing about Mega Man because i actually get to use this little thing i have for that one interaction <laughs> It is, it is very nice to see, and you might have a, a, a flying chance here. Great exploit of that low profile that we feel trainer does sport, no pun intended. He's taking advantage of every single interaction and the opportunity he gets to avoid damage. However, it is you who has a very sizable lead, one stuck now in a, in, off a lead. Let's see if he can take advantage of that. He was going again for the spike, and let's face it we all want to see it again yeah and the heart like i said even if like that interaction that he got even on the past stage even if hard knuckle doesn't spike him off it's just the whole stage bounce that's so big that you know you can combo off of it if you go into top eight with mega man at a wi-fi tournament best believe that mega man's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve too definitely so you can see you can see how you is uh, abusing the knowledge that he got you could even say he downloaded javier here in this game number three because of how well he performed javier was trying to duck under Mega Man's projectiles trying to avoid any damage but you with his Mega Man moved and performed on point at all times he was catching those attempts of low profiling with the leaf shield he was he even got a spike in this game so you can tell that he's ready for the maybe the three uh, the um, the the what the, the reverse the reverse 3-0 this said hey well, a man can only hope yeah, and I, I think that's what you're really fighting for, is that ability to reverse 3-0 your opponent, yeah. especially if, if you're in used shoes. For you, though, he's been doing a pretty good job of, like, slowly establishing that, that tempo that he's been looking for to play yeah. up against uh, Javier. And in this case, he's finally found it. It's taking him two losses to get there, but, you know, once he's finally got it going, you can see how different this game is already on PS2. Oh, definitely. He's taking advantage of the mobility that allows that this stage basically provides both defensively and offensively because those platforms sort of work like a shield, that beautiful forward air to cancel that soccer ball and put some damage on his opponent. At the same time, you definitely outperforming his uh, actions in game number one and two, and he's looking out for blood in this game number four. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much I would say he's he's back for blood, I would, almost, because now he's finally got blood on his hands, right? He has, he's literally struggled to get the kill on Warzone, finally after losing, like, so many, so many of the early rings, man, he's finally got it. But that's what I'm talking about, too. You can spend so much time finding your opponent at the distance, but what it really matters is how you're able to close up the stock. 
that situation on the force get up attack was really smart from you because that will definitely cover roll get up and even occasionally get up attack as well so that's good three, three out of the five options covered there for you he has to maintain that same tempo you found last game and then just keep it going man because he he was on a roll it's it's been like i said it takes a while to get the jet started but you want to make sure they never go on cooldown yeah, I mean, he still is going for it. All of his aggression, it's showing up and it's working out effectively. Very well oh. executed. Everything he's trying to get, take him to the skies one more time. That would have been lovely, but no, he's still living a little bit further and he's extending his lead to a full stock now. He just needs a couple interactions trying to get that shoot. You can very respectful there from uh, Javier knowing that he could have gotten with it if he wasn't paying close enough attention but right now you being a little more cautious but shifting immediately towards aggression mode and it's definitely working in this game four yeah this aggression mode is what we've been wanting to see from you all the way through that's a, that up smash would have been such a good but just the ability yeah. of javier at the land with almost no m like after that move it was just good enough for him to still survive that but the one thing that i am liking from you is like all that pressure he's been able to put but the angled metal blade it stops it stops that low profile yeah. javier has been trying to put out every single time and that's letting javier know like i'm not letting you get away as much as i let you get away the last two games give me this game five i really do want this blood on my hands and for you he's just not stopping and like i said the jets are on they're they're full they're, they're running at full speed man he is not showing any signs of slowing down look at this three stock he's working on sir it, it goes to show Definitely, and it's working out amazingly. He's just bouncing around, shooting him around. He's not willing to stop at any moment, and he's taking a lot of advantage in this in this situation where he just needs to keep putting out commands, and it's working. He's trying to go for the spikes. He's trying to go for all the aggression, and he gets the let's jump to the back air. He was fishing for it too, a couple of times on the previous matches. He finally gets it, and now he is one game away from the reverse 3-0 you would love to see it yeah you do love to see it and you never want to see i mean for me like just being a caster for so many years realistically you never want to see a wash game because <laughs> it, it's sad you know like you you're, you're expecting some <laughs> some good matches but you end up seeing your opponent go oh three and it's like wow man that really hurts but for you to like come back this way and then like i think where we first saw signs of life was back in game two like he it was a pretty much like a situation of like all right oh two but close games but that close but the fact that it's best of five pretty much makes that close game possibility come full circle and then be able to pretty much put up a game five here and for you that's big that like literally that's what's that's the beauty of being in winter semis getting that game five scenario and looking at okay cool i know how my opponent's winning i know how i can win now uh, now, definitely all of the pressure is on Javier's shoulders now, where yeah. he had an incredible lead at the beginning. He had a 2-0 advantage. And right now, with a huge change of, of form, basically, he's now trying, attempting, and almost getting. He's Remember, he's one ga game away from getting this set back. Why, whereas Javier still had an incredible presence at the beginning, but he's slowly becoming overwhelmed by the incredible pressure that you is putting out with both the leaf shield down airs up airs all of all, every single tool in Mega Man's belt is working out just flawlessly uh, you said it you said it so well man look at the way that he's been able to chase down Javier with every single tool he used upper twice saw that Javier was going to the platform literally nowhere else to run but the platform hit him with back air get him off the stage read the roll cover the get up option and then also cover the cover him trying to go for a low recovery because you're he planted crash bomber out there it's just the fact that you finally I, I, it's, it's funny to say but he finally woke up bro we're not gonna we're not here to watch another fight of you know mayweather versus one of the logan brothers one of the paul brothers we're actually watching mega man versus we fit trainer and this is this is definitely a scrappy match yeah he geared up uh, very well and it's definitely showing with the lead that he's building up and the presence that he has around the stage it's uh not only overwhelming but it's hard to predict and hard to react i honestly wouldn't be able to be able to catch or try to avoid the insane and incessant pressure that you is putting out with every single move that he has at all times he's pushing he's pushing a button and it's working and you can see that it's not spam 
because every single action has a purpose and it's working out just flawlessly all across the board. Ooh, that was rough too. He caught, he got caught, he would have been fine, but he got caught jumping him and at that, in the middle of getting caught jumping, he had, he didn't get time to actually DI, so he would have been able to survive if he had he DI'd that properly. But also Smashville is one of those stages, like it's got a low ceiling, so you will lose your stock that way. For you, honestly, yeah, look at this, like the ledge pressure has been there and it continues to go on. He literally tells him, if you want to take time to stall, I have a projectile that goes everywhere and that's Metal Blade. And that's yeah. able to pretty much force out that situation and get that back air. Look at this pressure here. Gets no grab. Yeah, that's so clean. See, and I can just see that grab coming through. Because at that point, the, what's the one thing about Mega Man? He doesn't get grabs for free. He has to earn his grab. Like, that is so much end lag from that, that his ability to just grab just goes to show that you have pressured your opponent enough for it. Yeah, it's all about conditioning, and Mega Man mains definitely know the name of the game, and it's exactly that, conditioning, putting the pressure at all times, making your opponent afraid of moving, afraid of picking an option, and every single time that Metal Blade comes out, it tells about creativity, it shows how well a performer, a, com a, a competitor is able to use such a versatile tool and make the <laughs> most out of it. I would love to see a little bit more of that soccer ball play from Javier. He's using it in a little bit of straightforward fashion. We know that those soccer balls can be used in a plethora of ways to like set up or, or confirm or condition, but we're not seeing a lot of that from Javier and I think it's finally showing off why. Yeah, oh, that down smash, uh, if he can't that was a little too overzealous. He took 54%, unfortunately, from it, which makes things really scary against a character like Wii Fit. <laughs> um, but still, that down smash was a little overzealous. I like the idea, though, but still not able to capitalize here. I think for you, oh, no, let's jump back here. You get back on the stage, please. Yeah, he was trying to get it again. Again, the pressure is definitely working out for him. And I would love to see a little bit more of deep breathing because it's what makes Wii Fit Trainer such a busted character. But he faces, he rolls exactly into the Mega Man Buster. Mildly charged. I don't think it was fully charged and it still was enough to take the stock. It was such high percent. You with an incredible reverse 3-0.